What's going on? Black Ink Crew, y'all. I can't even give y'all a full-ass introduction because this episode is quite sickening and not in a good way, okay? Um, this is the finale episode. I have to check and see if it's like the mid finale or what, because y'all know how sometimes like when they do a regular black ink crew, they kind of cut it off at a certain point and then they go and break it in and come back for like a couple more episodes or so. But you know, the first season of this had 10 episodes. So this about right. Um, I would like them to have more episodes. I'm fairly entertained, but this episode kind of disgusts me. Um, just about damn near everybody involved. <laughs> And I will get to why. But speaking of Black Ink Crew, the original, bitch, I can't wait till that shit come back. I've never been hyped for a Black Ink. Listen, season might be on my good side this season. If they documented everything, if they filmed all of this shit, this motherfucker might get back on my good side this season. Because you know him and Duchess is broken up, right? The nigga took the ring back. The nigga took the ring back. He is wearing it as a necklace around his neck, bitch. He took the motherfucker. They sending chapstick, okay? They were sending... You know what? I wish I was that petty, but you know, I'm petty as fuck because we don't like Duchess' chapped-ass lip. Y'all sending Carmex to her. You know, I'm telling you, Duchess, you should look into, you know, trying to be a spokesperson for that and all that shit, you know, get you some coins off of that. But y'all petty as shit for sending that shit to her in the mail. That's something that I would do if I wanted to spend money and waste money on the bitch. But I would never waste money on a bitch I don't like. So, no, that's not what I would do. But anyway, I was like, what? And then in the comments, people was like, you know, so they broke up again. I only know of one time that they broke up. And then they got back together on the show. And it really wasn't a breakup, breakup. But he took the ring back. Child, this episode, this season gonna be lit. Like, I, I'm, I'm here for it. I ain't never been hyped for a black ink crew to come back. But, um... Anyway, let's get into this finale of this season of Black Ink Chicago. Oh, let me, um, because y'all know, I don't even got to go blow by blow, but you know, I'm just, they still in Dominic Republic, right? And they still recovering from the night before. The girl's trying to figure out whether or not Don fucked the bitch or not, okay? Don is acting as if he did not do nothing with that girl. He acting as if they literally, like Charmaine or Kat said, so you mean to tell me y'all just went up into the um room and y'all was talking for a long-ass time and nothing popped off? You talking to a bitch who don't even know English? Like, come on, come up with a better lie. We already know. We heard the sound effects. I mean, you know, reality TV can be shady as fuck and they can put the sound effects in, you know, after the fact. But I do believe Don fucked that bitch, okay? Let's be honest. And then came back the next day for part two, okay? But I just don't know. Ashley is a special kind of person. And you know what pisses me off about Ashley is because there are a lot. She is not the only female nor the only man out here who would do something that she does, okay? She is not the only person that would stay in a relationship and take the emotional and mental abuse and even physical. I ain't saying that their relationship is physical, um, domestic violence or whatever, but there are some people who will stay and let themselves get this beat on, beat on for years, okay? Okay. And I like, like I learned, like people, everybody is different and everybody has their own breaking point. And I guess she has not reached her limit yet. She, I don't know, what is she trying to compensate for? I don't know if she's trying to prove a point, but, I, I, and I can't even feel sorry for her because she's allowing this and this is something that she's bringing upon herself. Like you're bringing a heartache. You don't trust this man. You don't trust him. You're very insecure in your relationship. Bitch, you and Terrence need to get together, okay? You and Terrence need to get together. We'll talk about that punk-ass bitch in a minute. But, um, so Ashley gets out there with her brother, her friends, got the little baby out there. Uh, I said, y'all brought the baby in this mess. Goddamn. But, I mean, mama ain't finna babysit, um, so hell. I wouldn't want to leave my child behind either, but, you know, goddamn. Um... <laughs> I guess the brother was supposed to be Ashley's eyes and ears, and I guess he's really cool with Don. And this, the brother's behavior kind of came up 
before I think in season one when Don was fucking up and he was practically on Don's side a little bit. And I just, I didn't understand. I was like, so maybe you're more so team Don because you also cheated on your bitch before or some shit. Like, you know, cheaters flock together. I don't know. It just felt that way. But, um, what, what was happening? And then the girls in the room talk about some team Don. First, she's trying to say that, um, well, he out there fucking bitches and you know, he about to get married. Then you in a confessional. Then you yeah, talk about some team Don. Uh, Don, because, I mean, this is last hoorah, I get it in. No, that's not right. That's not right. What type of friends are you guys? You guys are the wrong type of influence on a person, okay? You're the type of person that would egg a bitch to jump, okay? And you hang around people that will go ahead and fucking jump just because peer pressure or they want to be accepted, okay? That's what y'all equate each other to. Uh, you can't tell me no, gif no difference. But, um, Ashley get there and, you know, Don telling them, so I'm having this rehearsal dinner and everybody's invited. I said, everybody as in who? You know, Ryan and them even said as in who? Everybody. Charmaine, I told her about you being out here too. You're invited. She wants you there. Charmaine must have looked up like, squeeze me? <laughs> you got the wrong Charmaine. Did she say Charmaine or did she say Charmin as in the tissue? You know, because those two different things, you know. Maybe she meant she wants some tissue or something. Maybe because she might start crying. But me? Okay, so we get to this little rehearsal dinner or whatever the fuck it was. His daddy is out there, you know. Um, um, What's her name? Ashley is there. Charmaine sit down. First, when they was all sitting there, they was just talking or whatever. Then Kat and Charmaine come in there. The look on Don's face, Don was like shook a little bit. He was nervous because he ain't know why Ashley invited Charmaine. But to me, it felt as if Ashley invited Charmaine to say, Nah, bitch, I got him. I don't give a fuck what it is that you do or say. I still got the nigga that you kind of wanted. And she's still hooked on this. You can't tell me she's still harping on that fact that, you know, Don had a, some bullshit with um Charmaine or whatever. But she get this little toast talking about some, I know you guys, um, y'all seen me and Don grow, y'all seen me and um, Don uh, argue and stuff like that, but bitch, I stopped listening after she said, y'all seen me and Don grow, I looked up and was like, grow through some bullshit, grow into some bullshit, what are you talking about, where is the grow, this nigga progress, no, this nigga digress, okay, backwards he went backwards this whole time he went so far back than he was in the first season the first season all he did was lie about having a girlfriend to another bitch and fuck a bitch in the bathroom of his workplace that's what he lied about but then this season he's fucking strippers and he got another kid okay that is a huge fucking step back and you talking about some y'all grew no you're desperate and i feel like Either Ashley is so complacent in this relationship that she's afraid to step out on her own and she's afraid to start over. That's what it is. She's settling. She is settling. And I don't know if she's seen this behavior somewhere else, like in her mom or, you know, an aunt or something like that. Even a father that they just settle for what they don't deserve, the lesser than what they deserve, you know. And that's that's all that I'm getting, bitch. Iyanla, I watch enough of Iyanla, beloved, you know, beloved, let me tell you something. You're settling for a man who had a baby on your ass. You know how Iyanla be sitting there just, just, just knocking on shit. That's how I felt. Like, bitch, are you serious? You settle for a church hat in a parking space. Bitch, I remember that damn episode. Yes, come on now. <laughs> You sold yourself for a church hat and a parking space. Yes, the fuck she did. The fuck she did. Because not on my motherfucking watch. I'm going to make myself a fool on national fucking TV, bitch. And that's exactly what you did, Ashley. You know, ain't no ifs, and buts, or about it. I can't excuse you. I can't look at the bright side. You know, they were trying to say, well, in a twisted kind of way, this is like a good love story. And this is kind of sweet. I mean, they are together. And after all they bullshit, they still can't. Them friends ain't real. You ain't real because I'm going to be that bitch that's going to tell you the truth. Okay? Your nigga 
nigga ain't shit. You ask me what it is, and I'm the type of person that's going to elevate my friend, okay? You want to know the truth. You want to know the truth. I will tell you the truth. Don't ask me and tell me that, you know, we friends, and I want you to be real with me, even if I ask this and whatever. You got to give it to me real. And then when I do, you cop an attitude, and then you don't want to hear nothing else that I have to say. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. If I see something fucked up and you ask me about it, bitch, I'm going to tell you the fucking real. I'm not going to sit around and just pacify your ass just so you can feel good. No, because it's not going to make me feel good seeing that my friend is being taken advantage of. That's what real motherfucking friendships do, okay? You don't want to see the other person hurt, but all you bitches is out here just saying, I mean, yeah, he fucked around and he did all this, but I mean, it's kind of cute that they finally came together and they still got married. Ain't shit cute about that. Because all you're doing is trying to get a wedding to cover up a whole bunch of layers of bullshit that we haven't even got deep down. We ain't even through layer one. We ain't even a quarter inch through layer one of the bullshit that's going on, okay? And we got a bunch of layers to go fucking through, all right? So, girl, get the fuck out of here with that. Y'all ain't fucking real. Boy, you ain't a real motherfucking brother either. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Like, I just... I don't know. I don't know. And so at this little rehearsal dinner, you know, she's saying all this stuff. I said, bitch, you dumb. You dumb. And then our cat was like, I guess the only thing that we need to do is to have Charmaine twerk for Ashley. Bitch, Charmaine got her ass up and twerked all up in that bitch face. Ashley said, I don't know what the fuck it is that I was ever, um, you know, worried about with Charmaine because, uh, the bitch puss stank or some shit. I said, did she just say her pussy stank? <laughs> Charmaine will toot it and boot it for a bitch or a nigga anytime, any day. She been doing that this whole, her ass been in the air this whole fucking season, bitch, okay? This whole season. Get that shit looked at, okay? One of them crabs might pop out like, boop. Pick a boo, here I am. I uh, know, let me stop. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. But bitch, I already said it, so fuck it. Anyway, moving on from that. Um So, like I said, Ashley Brothers there, they throw a little bachelorette party, a bachelor party, I guess the last party before the rehearsal, I mean before the actual wedding. And at this moment, Everybody's getting down. They brought the same fucking strippers and then some, okay? Because the same fucking stripper that sucked the uh, Don off and he fucked was there all up on him and all this shit. He trying to act as if he don't want to get involved, but eventually he does get involved. Has strippers all up on him. You know, they taking his clothes off, cat on him, licking him. It just looked like a petri dish full of STDs that was just going around. I said, this does not look sanitary. And I'm all about... <sighs> keeping myself clean, you know, them germs don't look right at all. It look quite disgusting. Y'all need to go and take a hot steaming bath with bleach, okay? I'm just saying. But, um, it just look all type of infectious right there, okay? And contagious. Um, Don got bitches titties in his mouth and stuff like that. You know, he wilding out. And they was like, well, shit, um, Ashley brother was supposed to be here. I don't know if he was supposed to be here to be watching him and being on uh, Ashley little lookout because this motherfucker picking strippers up and putting them over his arm and going to do what he got to do with him. I guess he said a nigga would be a nigga. Okay, what goes down here? Don't mm, it stays here. But you took pictures. <laughs> So this is what I didn't understand. He took pictures. He involved himself in this shit. And he took pictures. And then he showed. We'll get there. We'll get there. But the main thing that I want to talk about. First of all. Everybody is having a good time though. Regardless. Ryan is there with his bitch area. Okay. Y'all need to go ahead and hook that shit up. The chemistry is there. You know. Y'all always talking and going off on the side. And that's who he been focusing his attention on. For the last few episodes. Ryan, this whole fucking season, ain't been thinking about no bitch named Danielle. I'm just saying, the pussy probably wasn't that good. It probably was a one-time thing. Knew it was a mistake or whatever. I ain't gonna say her pussy wasn't good, because I don't know. Obviously, somebody um, is caught up in it because he just won't let fucking go. Bitch, Charmaine, once again, got that ass tooted in the air. Danielle is behind her twerking it. And I'm sitting here like, that's kind of disgusting because y'all cousins, but I mean... Oh, okay. And at that very moment, here come Terrence out of nowhere. 
I'm sitting here like, so you just pop up and you don't really announce yourself. You just want everybody to turn around and see you just so happen to see your ass. And so Danielle looking like, what the fuck? And then he goes over there and he was like, he, Danielle said he comes with nobody inviting him and goes straight to the alcohol. And then going to tell her, you're such a liar. You're a disrespectful ass bitch, basically. Um, you disrespect me and all this other shit. And I'm sitting here like, something is wrong with Terrence. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Something is wrong with Terrence. I really want to know, Terrence, did you get your ass beat? And I'm talking about abused beat when you was a kid by either your mother or your dad because you have issues with control. You act as if you went through some type of trauma. You act as if you had no friends when you were kids. So now you're trying to take that control issue out on your relationship. You act as if you was being pig last in gym class and all that stuff. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You act like you was a weakling when you was younger, okay? That's what it act like you was bullied you was picked on i don't know what it is so now you try to make yourself feel as if you're the man and you have to have control within your relationship and you think you can control this relationship but you don't like the fact that your woman got a brain for her own okay and then when it comes to other men you like to compare yourself to them okay and it makes you very very insecure when you see somebody doing good okay that is a possible possibility that your woman can leave you for even though it's all being made up in your mind okay i didn't understand the reason why you were there i didn't understand the reason why you came if you you little he came in and said all that shit to danielle you mean to tell me you got on a plane that you may have, uh with that vh1 paid the ticket for Okay, you were not invited to the house by the rest of the cast, all right? You basically crashed somebody else's bachelor party, okay? You didn't even come to the wedding because nobody wanted you there. Um, And then you curse your girl out. And then you go outside and you tell Ryan, I just want to speak to you because, you know, that's my bitch right there. And, um... We all good or whatever, but I know that y'all fucked around and I just want you to know to respect me as a motherfucking man and don't talk shit to my girl and don't do this and yada, yada, yada and boo, boo, boo. Ryan sitting there looking at him like, for real, bruh, for real, you come out here, get your ass drunk with that liquid ass courage and you sound like a straight pussy ass weak bitch, okay? Coming to me on an insecure ass tip because your girl still works with me and as Brian said, Ryan said, me and her had a thing. Now that thing don't know, we don't know if they really fucked each other. We don't know if, you know, it was just oral. We don't know if it was just a makeout session and they just realized that the shit didn't work. We don't know all the details, but something happened and the fact of the matter is you out here doing all this stuff and you coming at him and he telling you, I don't know what it is that you're talking about and I don't understand why you coming at me like this when I did whatever I did with Danielle over a year ago, okay? And I ain't touched a bitch since, okay? We ain't even been in that type of area or my frame in a long fucking time. So you ain't got shit to worry about. And then he kept on putting his hands on Ryan. And when Ryan was trying to explain what was going on, you stepping up to him like you finna do something. When he trying to calm the situation down and he was like, we good, we good. Ryan like, we 1,000, bruh. And he still all up in him like he finna beat his ass or some shit. I was so waiting for Ryan to steal off that nigga. I was waiting for him to steal off that nigga, take that Hennessy bottle, and bust it across his motherfucking head. But then this bitch gonna go, and uh, even Ryan called him an insecure-ass wack bitch, okay? And then this bitch gonna go tell Danielle, yeah, I talked to Ryan, and he was talking all this shit, and I wanted to knock that nigga out. The only reason why I ain't steal off that nigga is because I ain't want to go to jail. You wasn't about to do a damn thing. You had all the space and opportunities to put your hands up, bitch. Ryan would have laid your ass out. That's that liquid ass courage from a drunk fucking mind, bitch. You's an insecure ass, whack ass bitch. I don't understand it. And then you gonna give Danielle a fucking ultimatum. He was like, talking to my bitch. You know, you don't need to be talking to my bitch. Danielle was like, first of all, I'm not a bitch. Okay, I ain't never been nobody's bitch. I said, look at the disrespect. And then later gonna tell her, um, <clears throat> they getting ready for the wedding or whatever the fuck they was gonna get ready to do. And you come up to her, talk about some, you come out here and then 
Um, I ain't never had no issue with no other bitch that I've been with. I don't talk to them no more. You up here working for this nigga. And then it's like, you choose them over me. And, and you don't do what I say. You don't do this. You don't do that. All you got to do is what I ask you to do. And all this stuff. I'm saying, bitch, are you her daddy? Or just another wannabe controlling ass nigga? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? And then gonna say something. I was gonna propose to your ass. See, look at this. I was gonna propose to your ass. But now nah, I ain't. And through the motherfucking ring. I said, so that was a dumb ass motherfucking thing that you did. Because you know damn well you went down there and got that motherfucking ring and left your ass. Okay? And you just went in on Danielle talking about some either it's them or it's I'm gone. Nigga, go. Nigga fucking go. And I heard Danielle and him still together. So therefore, I really don't feel nothing for you right now, Danielle. If that nigga haul off and beat your ass, you know, it's the quiet ones that probably do some shit. Like the shit is boiling. It is building up. Okay? I would not be surprised if I hear that he has knocked her out or put his hands or attempt to put his hands on her. Because look at him. Look at him. You playing yourself on fucking tv as a weak ass nigga like who fucking hurt you who fucking hurt you okay yeah maybe she should have told you that you know prior that she was coming down to the dominican republic but you obviously don't trust her enough or whatever and then you giving her these ultimatums and you want her to marry you with all these issues that you're making that you you don't need to be with nobody until you find it is find out what the fuck it is that's going on inside yourself that you that's making you so fucking paranoid and insecure maybe you need to go um go away and be by yourself for a minute okay because this shit i don't know no some of you women y'all put up with this shit and i ain't gonna say just women some people in relationships let me just rephrase that some people in relationships will put up with this shit because they're desperate enough to be to just say that they're in a relationship I just don't fucking understand it. Ain't no, ain't no bitch, ain't no nigga gonna ever tell me what the fuck to do. I respect you and you respect me, bitch. That's what the fuck gonna go down, okay? And if I hear somebody else disrespecting you, oh, it's gonna get, it's, try it. Fucking try it and see what the fuck I do, okay? I just was not here for that shit. And then they getting ready for the wedding and they're late, half drunk. Most of them didn't even get to sleep. And at that point in time, this is when Ashley is still at the altar. She's like, oh my God, she's freaking out. She's getting pissed because no one's there. And then her brother shows her the pictures. And I said, why would you show her the pictures knowing damn well she's going to get pissed off? And I said, it didn't even matter if you showed her the picture or not because she's still going to go through with the wedding. She put on all this little fucking drama act or whatever as if she was going to say no, as if she was going to go home. I don't even know if I want to do this. And then you had her brother and a friend just standing there talking about some, you know, he a good dude. He a good dude. He a good... I'm sitting here like he a good dude but he did all this bad shit to you. And you as a brother, it's okay with your sister being disrespected by this man. I just don't under fucking stand because I will not tolerate that shit for any bitch that come in trying to date my sister and you doing some shit like that. Hell fucking no. I'm going to say something to you and I'm going to say something to him too. I don't give a fuck if y'all say, oh, that ain't his place or, you know, maybe he got some shit. I don't give a fuck if he did some wrong in his motherfucking life, but that is your goddamn sister. Y'all father is not there to see the shit that's going on. So therefore, you should be wanting to step up and protect your sister and say, baby girl, you don't have to settle for this shit. You deserve better. But he not. And of course... You know, her and Don get into it. You got titties. I'm arguing all over the baby. I said, this baby going to be traumatized. Okay? And I'm just sitting here like, this is just a shit show. It's a shit show. I'm like, why y'all going through all this bullshit? All these words going back and forth. For you to act as if I need to go home. I don't know if I want to do this. But then you go ahead and do it. And y'all get married with all this bullshit going on. And then you're crying at the altar. You're crying because you know you're fucked up. And I just, I want them to have a fucking reunion show. Like, I want them to have a, why they got no reunion show? Because shit will be spilled all right there and there. But y'all, if I missed some shit, put it down in the comments. This episode was trash, but I loved it. Um, They fake. They fake friends. Because ain't no way in hell I'm going to be sitting there like, <laughs> Charmaine. I was sitting there with Charmaine looking just like this.
I mean, it ain't my place to say I object because it'll look like she got some type of motive, but bitch, this is a fuck show. Anyway, y'all tell me how y'all feel. I'll see y'all later.